Hello, and welcome to another episode of Matchpoint, the only CSGO talk show that exists. Right? The only one in existence. Uh, this talk show is, of course, run by the wonderful lads, who are also creating uh, the uh, one and only Reddit Lab. Draft. So, I'm TJ, I'm also here with Jade. Hi. And Frosty. Hello. All right. Uh, I think we're all good now. I think I've actually managed to produce an episode somewhat passably. Nice. Moving right in to ruin that community discussion. So in this we're looking at the top posts, the most discussed posts, and the most controversial posts. When I saw uh, community discussion, should free-for-all deathmatch be an official game mode? We have team deathmatch, we have all this shit. Why don't we have free for all as seen on billions of different community servers? Because we're Valve. No. <laughs> oh, that all makes sense. Basically. Well, I mean, they don't really like to change things a whole lot, which is actually not a bad quality for most situations. So, in their in their respect, like I, I don't think it's an awful decision to not change anything. If it, you know, if it's not broken, don't fix it, type thing. And plus, if you know how to operate community servers, it shouldn't be a big deal. But it would be cool to see them do it, like, in the game officially, because it, sh- it it could help. Like, there's no point to not do it. But at, there's the same, at the same time, they're not really gaining a whole lot from putting it in. So, I don't know. They're just Valve, and if they don't get a whole lot out of it, then I'm not surprised that they're not doing it. Thank you, Hashrunner and Chat, for the dank memes. I mean, one of the things that, I've yeah, that's what we're talking about, so we're um one of the things that I've noticed um when I was thinking about it was Valve have been increasingly kinda ruining community servers, right? They they're removing all these things that make community servers great. And I feel like if they went, Oh, by the way, we're doing the main thing community servers do, that would not go over well with the community, right? Or am I am I I agree actually. Yeah, yeah. if they took took what the servers are doing then they'd pretty much ruin revenue frag shack and all them so wouldn't be good yeah plus it's like if you already have a tdm server there's like really not a whole much like it's not going to change a whole lot if you have a free-for-all server like let's be honest it's not that big of a change like in my opinion if i'm dming i'm just dming it's like i don't really care um but like what you brought up an interesting point tj when you said that they're taking up uh, all the stuff away from the community servers, which is actually really true. But at the same time, like if you think back before we didn't have the whole, you know, WS command or whatever plugin for putting skins on any gun you want, and you just had the knife command, like everything was fine and dandy. But I, I kind of don't blame them for getting rid of everything because once we cross the line, which was pretty much when we did the WS plugin they're basically done with everything. So, like, I don't know why that was ever a the thing, because I knew it wasn't going to end up well. The WS plugin, of course, being the plugin that let anyone have any skin they like. And yeah, I've cracked down for very anything. Hard on that. Yeah, you could, have a, you could have a Tiger Tooth M9 Bayonet. Like, that's ridiculous in my mind. Like, it's cool. I thought it was so cool. When it first came out, I was doing it, obviously. You but could like, have a t- Tiger Tooth, like, AK. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I see. I don't and see like the you know, that. that sounds amazing. <laughs> well, it is amazing. But different. the thing is that when you're Valve, it's like, hey, they shouldn't be doing that because they have to pay for those things. But like you know, it, you could argue the same thing for the knife command, but it, it's not as big of a deal because it's just you know the vanilla knives. You're only using it for the time that you're in there, which is the same thing with the WS command. But it's like. It just goes above and beyond. Like, if you can already have a knife, but then you can also just have anything you, any skin you want on the knife, that's just kind of like, whoa, to me. That, like, raises the stakes a lot. It's like, I don't know, it's way more serious. I don't know. I'm looking at chat. Of course, anyone in chat is welcome to join in. We will read your point. We will add it to the discussion. And right now, all I'm getting is dank memes, except for Subbermine, who raises that the WS command is still available on some servers. Um, and well, yeah, to... but they they ban it if you have it. So they they my friend did it on one of his servers to, uh, to see how well they cracked down on it. 
he was just on his alt account. He had a KZ server. And he just had it for you could only do it when you're in Spectator, but they still completely banned his account from community servers. So they really do crack down on it. They're not really there anymore because if you have it, then it's then it's gone. You're banned immediately. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of times you can do exclamation point take knife. I don't. <laughs> no, they, they took that. They took that away with uh, WS. All right. I think you can still do drop knife, can't you? Right. Well, you can. You can actually uh, physically drop them now, can't you? Yeah. Like yeah, there's a plugin for a, just a... dropping your knife. No, I think I think it's an official game command they have it. Yeah. Yeah. It oh, is. is it really? Yeah, it's like yep. seal underscore can drop knives one. Actually, we should add that to the Reddit ladder leak, just so that people can throw their knives. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. Wow. Well, I, I mean, just figured that out. I feel like it would lead to a lot of situations where people just like threw their knives accidentally and it cost them rides, but I also feel like it would <laughs> be hilarious every time it happened. Um, <laughs> Fake flash with your knife. <laughs> That's just Solar so weird. Solar chat really wants it. I'll talk to Night Fury, see if we can do it. Cause that, seems, that seems like something we should do. Um, Find a knife that re- represents a flashbang the most. <laughs> just throw it every time. Moving but, but swiftly. Would it really onwards. be worth it? No. Moving would it swift- really be worth it to buy <laughs> that? We're moving swiftly onwards. Let's talk about the MLG stickers. Uh, obviously, the most exciting part is that Dosia released a video of him dating a hot girl, and his sticker is Dosia X God. But obviously, the reason he's doing that is because they get a shit ton of money, right? He's like he doesn't he doesn't need a girl; he can it. pay like eight different strippers simultaneously, twenty four seven. So he he's a meme. So pretty the, much all he is. the thing I'm the thing I'm wondering about is what was discussed initially when people first heard there would be player signature stickers, which is at what point do players start not going for the smart plays but for the flashy plays that will sell them more stickers, right? At what point does that become a factor where stickers are actually negatively impacting? how the players are playing the game. Yeah, stickers are weird. Like some you would think that if, you know, someone's telling you, "Hey, this is going, you're going to have your own sticker, write your signature down." Like they'd try and make it cool or, you know, funny or whatever like they've done. But like I've seen a couple of stickers that just their their signature is just downright downright awful. Like it looks like they just drew it with a mouse. It's like I don't even yeah. want that. I don't like know how Pith, you do like that. Like Pith's, yeah. Pith's sticker looks like a two-year-old drew it. Yeah, it's like what? It's like it, there's there's no way. Like they have to be telling the pros that this is going on their sticker. Like how do you just scribble that down? And you're like, that'll do. Like that's just so weird to me. Like if I had my own sticker, I'd be putting time into making sure that mine looked kind of cool, at least, or funny or something. I don't know. Yeah. I think of Vaco. That's like Cash Runner's being very helpful in chat. He writes, maybe he is too. <laughs> Get the two-year-old. I mean, that would certainly explain some of his play. <laughs> so I just shot yeah. shooted at Pith. <laughs> shot, <laughs> shot, shot, shoot. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's it's just English, TJ. Deal with it, America. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Shot shooted. Shot shooted. It's the new meme. Get with it. Get jiggy with it. Well, moving on, <laughs> after the sticker conversation, next on the list is caster stickers and coach stickers, which kind of go together. So we can just discuss those as one. But the first point, I when I just saw this, that I want to bring up is that when you think about caster stickers, like, would you also, would you guys also have analysts be a part of that group? If you gave stick, say you give caster stickers, would you not give like Thorin a sticker? Because I don't then, think I would want an alpha draft sticker though. Yeah, <laughs> you know that's all that he'd do. <laughs> um, so yeah, coach stickers, it just say alpha draft on it. Someone in someone in chat brings up why why should coaches get stickers? I believe it was Ryu the coach of. 
Selfless is their current name. Who I don't even did they even make it to the major? I didn't. But no, I <laughs> he no raised idea. he raised the issue, and he's a little bit of a, a walking talking meme, which is why of course he's interested to give people the option to pay money for a signature. So I'm kind of curious why why should coaches get it? Because obviously in some teams like Cloud Nine, the coach doesn't actually do anything. He's just their cheerleader. But yeah. No, they don't even have a coach. No, um, they they uh, have their their coach in air quotations is Stunner. No, but, he's their manager though. Those are two different things. Manager. No, he he's their coach in air quotations. He, he I don't stands, call him a coach. Their coach stands behind right them at he's, all their games. That's why I he's a cheerleader. Well, but if we talk about coach, like I don't think they should get stickers either. But because like I don't even know who the coaches are, dude. Like yeah, so that's so, my point. Just, there's so much variation on what a coach. They're irrelevant, does, to, right? Because to some the coaches, majority some of coaches people, they are 100 percent irrelevant. Are calling the game, and those coaches might deserve a sticker. But where do you draw the line? Where where is someone a coach? Yeah, you can't do that manager? though. They can't yeah. do that. They can't just be like, here, you get a sticker, Ryu gets a sticker, and Stunna, even though you're not really a coach, here you go. Like, it doesn't, you know, they have to give it to everyone. That's why, like, the caster stickers would be cool. Like, I'd like to have, like, an Anders sticker, but it's like, then you'd have to give every caster a sticker. Then it's like, eh, I don't know. Not all of them should have a sticker. Like, that just seems a little... And then the other thing is if, like, some of the casters are analysts, a lot of them actually are, but then, like, do you give analyst stickers too? What do you guys think about that? Because I, I don't know about that. That's a weird That's a weird point because if some of the casters okay. are analysts, then I don't see the you would have to give... between a caster you know, and an analyst. The only difference is that they talk during different parts of the production. If we're giving casters stickers because they are helping contribute to the production, then there's no reason we shouldn't give analyst stickers for the same thing. Well, but think... analysts aren't casters because Fine. like if you some casters aren't analysts you know like uh if, if you look if... at blue blue's a caster and an analyst but there's casters that are just casters like there's the analyst but, desk but what's the difference and then there's the care. caster desk there's still there's still well, there is a difference that are up there on the because some of the saying, oh, yeah, like everyone knows who okay. anders and similar are but nobody knows who like that one extra analyst dude is that doesn't cast. Like, no one knows who that is. Vendetta. That's his name. Yeah. Vendetta. Yeah, I don't... See, I don't even know. <laughs> it's that guy. Oh. Alpha draft. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I... I don't know. I think, I, I think the it'd be casters cool should get stickers. them. I don't think coaches should get them. Um, I am a little bit worried about the influence of stickers on how players play the game. Um, but I'm really excited for our next um, section. You could say that it is... Very, very, very exciting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's talk ever so briefly about Counter Pet. Um, that guy kind of became an overnight meme and not in a good way. Um, he yeah. kept saying things they, like... They featured uh, Real bloody war here on this stage. And I just, I don't understand how you could say that and think that's a good thing. And I don't, I don't know. <sighs> that man. Yeah, they used him as a meme in, uh, in the uh, Abbey Power Cup, so. <laughs> nah, it's not very good for him. I mean, he is getting, uh, publicity out of it but i don't think anyone's gonna hire him like maybe what's what's the cop that hires what's his name raheem every year maybe they'll hire him but nobody else is oh, gonna hire him ba bam yeah i um, wrote yeah ba bam oh he's so bad but the cop that hires him i can also see why they'd want a guy that says things like put your hands in the air um but I don't see any other production seriously ever hiring him again. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? What happened? The, so, were you watching the Counter Pet LAN finals? Oh, was there some dude that so was So their just stage like... host kept running out and telling people to put their cans in the air. And then he'd say things like... <laughs> Why? 
And of course, what? Logan, this stadium. <laughs> That's real? The, the best part is this stadium's got, like, a hundred, I'd say it easily sees at 10,000 people, and there are maybe 200 in there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and so, he's just saying these things to a completely empty stadium where nobody's saying anything. And it's like two people clap. Yeah, it was it was exciting. So Do it for the vine. Moving, moving. Wow, moving to a more serious point of discussion about this man. Um, he he was, I would say, one of the bright points of the tournament, and not in a good way. Um. <laughs> He he was probably the most exciting part of the tournament, and and that that says something about the tournament that's not good. Yeah. Um, but should we have hype men? Do do stage hosts have a place in modern esports? I would say yes. I would say good stage hosting, like what's his name, OJ Borg, and the good stage hosts who really get out there and really do get the crowd excited, do contribute to the viewing experience because watching like the the big games where the crowd's going wild and roaring with every kill. That's really exciting yeah, like and a, really cool like, and stage hosts do contribute to that. They got majors. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't think the casters could do the whole thing. Like they have to, I think they should do the in-game stuff, but like all the pre-game and the post-game and like they should mix it up. I agree with that. That'd be cool to have like some dude that just comes up and hypes up the crowd and makes it more fun to watch when you're watching. I don't know. That'd be cool. I agree with that, hundred percent. All right, I'd like to briefly thank Cash Runner for throwing two dollars in towards the server costs, etc. And my dog just farted. I don't know if you heard that, but that was exciting. <laughs> 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 Probably at me, silly. So mute. Um. <laughs> so useless information. All right, fine. Moving on. Let's let's move on swiftly. I can't move on. I actually can't move on. Boom. There we go. Renner Lander League standings and everything. If you have any questions about the Renner Lander League, now is your chance to throw them in the chat. I will answer them with incredible haste. Um, immediately Aspection, VLG, Netflix, and Jill Silver Tards, Gunpoint, GG, Disco Elephants, NFA, and the KFC Steelers are the teams currently slated to go to our playoffs bracket. Um, the top eight as a reminder, and th there's still two weeks left, including this week. So it's it's very 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 exciting. And I'm <laughs> really really hoping that let the best team win. Yeah. Uh, I don't, the cool thing about KFC Steelers is that I think it was like. Three four days ago, when I casted their game against FBGM, and they were at the time like rank seventeen or eighteen, because I know they were both seventeen and eighteen. I'm just not sure which team was which rank in the standings, but they just skyrocketed up. So apparently, they just beat a team or two after that. Like, so I guess they've just been on a roll lately. Um, but yeah, that's where they were. So Murray. they just kind of shot up, Murray. and Inspection and VLG have stayed at the top. So, Hash Runner says, isn't there like a four-way time for a second? Yes, Murray is actually one point outside of the finals. Um, but that, that's why we have a week in between the finals and the final week of games oh, and the finals. Week. So, any tie games that need to be solved will be played during that week, just so we know exactly who's going where. Um, but I will say that it is very likely at this point that Inspection, VLG, Netflix, and Chill and Gunpoint GG are going to be at the finals, because they've all looked incredibly strong recently. So, I'm excited. Where can I find the standings? Um, so, our main, our main page that showed where the standings were has actually vanished. Um, we weren't updating it consistently, so I removed it so that we wouldn't have any confusion. But we will be um, setting up a new system to do that. You can always ask your team captain, who will be able to uh, solve all your problems and give you everything you need. 
Nobody, nobody's talking. Tagging out, and then they're next time, no one is in... Oh, okay. When is the next cast match? I don't know that. Something. When is it? Some people, cough, cough, Luke, um, are supposed to be casters, and aren't here a lot of the time, because they have lives, which is something we're endeavouring to fix, but unfortunately, I'm not <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So anyway, no, I've just been busy. I had to yeah. organize like yeah, a yeah, yeah. tournament or whatever, good. and I'll be doing some but, soon but though. So our casters are not volunteers. Our casters are not. Um, They're paid. Are not paid. So as a result, they will not be able to cast every match. We do cast as many as we can. We will be casting every single match of the finals. I will ensure that worst case. I'll solo cast them myself. <laughs> TJ, TJ. <laughs> That would be terrible. <sighs> no, I'll for sure make sure I can cast a bunch of those games if I need to. Yeah, the, the finals will be lit. Be there. Be square. Reddit Ladder League. Is that a These teams, you heard it first. Do people actually say that? No, I was just saying that. Just, uh, no. Oh, okay. Uh, no, earlier... people actually say that. Earlier on... Uh, Solar asked. Hang on, I'm scrolling up. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Uh, there's lots of memes. Give me a second. Uh, he says. Gotta sort through the memes. There, there are so many memes that I can't find what I was gonna do. It was something along the lines of. Oh, uh, Beagle Kyle here says, "Hey, Red and League, like, any plans on how to?" advertise the league further for another season next season we will be we will have our website i can see it in production it's really cool looking um once our website is up we will be able to automate a whole bunch of the adminning you've probably heard that we're testing a plugin that does automate a lot of that and it will solve a lot of the problems um because we can just have games going we don't need to admin every single game individually so we will be able to open it up and have way more teams in and that in turn will create a much larger viewership poll uh the comment i was looking for solar asks uh do you have any plans for further leagues we are seriously looking in to a rocket league link um i am really curious whether or not we will Manage to make that work. We are looking into what spectator tools we need and whether or not the support's there in the community. So, I'm excited. Uh, Solar, if you are still listening to this stream, there are people in the chat that need you for some reason. I think Beagle has to schedule against you. Alright, are we moving on? Yeah, let's move on. Alright, pro discussion. Flip side, I forgot I got into the major. Nice. I love their they stickers. That I don't want to get into a discussion about it, but I like their stickers. I'm just they gonna look, say it. They, they're so more, green. If they're more, if they're more green guns, it'd be better. Yeah, like they, they're so cool on the pinstripe. All right, moving yeah. on. Whatever. Just a sidetrack. Their stickers are cool. They made Arnox. it into the major. Um, didn't know that. Now I do. Good for them. I don't. Yeah, they, they still have like Bondic, right? And like Blade. Or no, do they still have. They, I, think I know that Bondic still. Bit, and Cobot's annoying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You really bad to Cobot. I Jeez, got banned for 10 minutes earlier. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't realize they got in. It's kind of cool to see a lesser team that's not from North America get into the major. Uh, continuing on that vein, ancient Pronax's team. Uh, Swedish old people. Hashtag team Swedish old people qualified for the new DreamHack tournament. I'm excited to see them do stuff because there's a lot of hype around Pronax, obviously. And I, I hope he beats Fnatic. In the that final, would, that it's going to happen. I feel it in my bones. That would be the ultimate revenge story. But I'm a C9 fan, so I hope they make it too. But at the same time, it would be really cool to see Pronax beat his old team and shove it in their face. They're probably still friends, so I don't know if it would yeah. be like that. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, obviously, they're all going to claim to be friends no matter what, because that's how the scene works right now. But I'm I'm impressed with their team kind of going from a group of nobodies to qualifying for a major tournament that quickly. 
um, Threat posted a thing on Afon Blad, I believe that's how you say it. It's an esports news journalism thing. And Threat, the current coach of LFP, legendary player of past times, claims he's completely changed how NIP play. I'm really interested. When are we going to see some results? They have such good players, dude. If they figure out how to play the right way, like, that would be awesome. Like, I just want to see Freiburg entry frag. Like, I know Freiburg can entry frag. Like, I just yeah. want to see it, dude. He's a really it, it'll good It'll make me so guy. happy if I see get right. <laughs> he has a really good work how he frag. can. He, he dies consistently on the entry every time. I love it. No, yeah, it doesn't matter. He's entry. <laughs> Same with IGL. IGL, if they, if they don't get kills, that's fine. See, They're you IGL. Say that, you say that, but I do think that that era of being able to go, oh, he's in-game later, doesn't matter, he's got, not getting kills. That's kind of past, because you have teams like Fnatic, like Envy, and they're just tearing up everything, including their in-game leader. Although Envy, not so much, as we'll get to in a second. And I don't think you get to go... It was 87 and 0, jeez. Um, I don't Plus, think I feel like that's go, more of an yeah, NA no. point of view. Like, when we look at, like, the way we look at the game and the way we think about things is, like, it's just a little bit different in some areas, and I think that's one of them. Like, that we just think that, especially, well, not on our pro level, but, like, in general, with just our, you know, lower tier teams or just normal teams, we just we just discard the fact that, like, entry fraggers should, or not entry fraggers, IGLs, and some some people think entry fraggers, too, should still have to, frag like they should still have to be able to kill people like if you take off if you take the igl out of being an igl he should be able to get a lot of kills even yeah. if he's igling he should still be able to get some kills it's obviously harder because you're sidetracked you're trying to think but you should still be able to get kills you shouldn't just have like four kills while the rest of your team has like 20 like that's not you know it's not ideal but you know if you have a low amount of kills and they're all like impact frags then you know Go for it, dude. You know, but like, I don't know. It is weird that everyone thinks that you don't have to frag as a, is especially as an entry fragger. That's weird to me, because well, like if no, you're trying to, if you're the first one in and you're clearing all the angles, the entry frag I kind of understand it, because they're expected, they're in a situation where they're expected to die. They're expected to get one kill and then die, and if they do that, they've done their job. And the amazing entry fra I don't fraggers. Agree. When they're on fire, they'll get a kill, they get, they'll get another kill. But in normal entry fragger, if he runs into the site, he gets a kill, and then he dies. That second player, the last player on the site, presumably, is focused on the entry player, killing him, so the second man in can clean him up, and they have a free site. Or one man cost site. Well, well, I agree with most of that, besides when you say that he's just running right, like, I don't... I don't think he's in a position where he's expected to die. I don't think that's their ex expectation. That's the only thing I disagree with. Because if you have an entry fragger that you're expecting to die when he's going in, then it's just really not a good situation. Like, if they're expecting Stewie to die every time he goes in, then well, it's no, like, that's, that's what, unrealistic. That's what we know Stewie's going to When they can run into the site and not just get a trade in, but also get both of them. That's when they're pros. And that's yeah, so they're what, not expected makes, to just die. That's what makes the amazing entry fraggers amazing. But if an entry fragger yeah. can consistently trade a team into a site, then that team is consistently going to be able to get into bomb sites. So to me, uh, that having, I agree with. having an even KD is fine. Right? Yeah, I guess. And then the other thing, though, about both both sides is that even if you're an IGL or an entry fragger or any player for that matter some styles of play you're not going to be just hitting a site right off the bat so you're going to need to be a well-rounded player like your team is going to have defaults and you're not just going to every round say we're hitting this site we're hitting mid we're splitting that's not what's going to happen every time you're going to sometimes play slower and have to have the better game sense you can't just be the bot that runs in first and hopefully maybe gets a kill like i don't that's what a lot of people just that's like the easy way out for american players at least is just to become a super aggressive player and just be kind of like all aim, no brain type thing, I, which I just, I just like think the, the, the old. They fiber. all think they can do it, dude. They all think they can do it, and it's the easy way out too. Here if we you go just... again, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's like if you you're defending an undefendable position again. Should we talk about how nothing is a top ten player in the world? Oh my god! <laughs> you weren't here, some... Jade. He thinks that nothing is a top ten player in the world. I didn't say that. That is exactly. I what said, you said. I said he has the potential to be a top tier player. It's happening again, mm. dude. I just. Uh, <laughs> I ridiculous. talked with my, some of my friends about it afterwards, and they agreed with me. Like, okay, uh, even if I'm wrong, and I'll I'll admit I could be easily wrong. I'm probably wrong. How a lot of people would disagree with me. This guy? <laughs> but you can't say, you can't say a Dren and nothing are the same player. You can't just categorize no. them as that because they they they're so different. No. Like, if so you look they're at not. Dren's what I'm saying is they're not the same past, player, but they're, they're so easily different. on equal. They're easily on equal status, right? They're. I quote you verbatim last time you said they're the same player. I That's said, your verbatim. I, did, I said that they is your are. Quote. I said they are equivalent players. I did not say. You said they they're the same player. player. I said they were. Equivalent I, I could go players. back and find it, dude. You said it. Nothing is better than a Dren. Nothing has the potential to be a better better than a Dren if you were to do stuff correctly lately he's been doing but better he, actually but but he, but he is not a top 10 player yeah as he of now be... i agree with that he's not a top 10 player there's so many players that are God, better than him so fucking dumb it's but so his, insane his potential but... is, is way higher his skill ceiling is would... way higher than Adren's. oh yeah for sure but would would you say he's as good as dazed or like anybody that's banned probably um... not well, if you say like anybody if, that's banned, then like, 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 like swag, steal. Uh, uh, I don't know. Then that's when it's because if I they just, were not I'm banned, not he... comparing him to other players because that's like there's so many things you have to put into it. But if you, in general, if you look at nothing, I think he has the potential to be a I mean, very no, good player. Just and nothing. He, he's he's proud, lately been doing it, DJ. If you look at his. His race, his recent games, he's been fragging out. Like he, he's he's been he's he's kind of he's obviously not a top ten player right now, but he's getting better. Like he has the potential to be a very good player. I just, I agree that nothing in a fantasy world could be an interestingly talented player. I think you just have to wake up and realize he's never going to hit that potential. He is, and therefore, it's not potential. When somebody is never going well, to hit it, they're never... It's still potential. Really... I agree with that it's... besides the fact that it's it's still potential, but it's he's already had his past. He's had his moments. If you look back, he's when he was on EG with Fraud, you know, he's had his he had his time to shine. Like, he, he hit his ceiling. He was really good back then. Everyone had to relearn the game. It's CSGO if, now. It's probably not going to happen again. that he's not a top 10 player. He was, that he was, was his, one of the top ten players back then. In, in the in a different game, if he's if that was That's his ceiling, he's not a top ten CS going flyer. You just said he was a top ten player. What? If he you was a top that? ten player in a different game, he's not a top ten CS okay. going player. I I was not okay. talking about. Okay. I, that's what I said. Okay. I agreed okay. with that. Okay. Okay. Can I can I say something? No. <laughs> Okay. You can well, be a top. You can be the number one player in CSS and come to CS:GO and still be a top ten player. It can. It can happen. It's not like that's impossible. Are you, is that what you're saying? That like, I'm if you're saying, a top ten player, I'm in saying that it 1. doesn't 6, carry. You, if you're, you're a top CSGO, ten player in one point six, and then you start playing CS:GO, you're not automatically a top ten player. You have to take the results. That's not what separately. I said. Yeah. No, and I agree with CSGO, that. That's what I said. In the CS:GO, he has never been a top ten player, and as a result, he doesn't have any sort of record that demonstrates he can be a top 10 player in CSGO. I said that. I said everyone had to relearn the game and nothing fell behind. He's not a top 10 player right now, nor has he ever been in CSGO, but he obviously so, has potential to be a very good player. So where does this I never said he had the potential from? to be a top where does this 10 potential player. I said he had a Go, Jade. He's had, we, he's had this, it before. We've done seen stats. Him he brushed them off. We did stats. He brushed them off. No. Go. <laughs> No, I have real. I have real numbers though. Uh huh. Get, read, uh, read the real yeah. numbers. Okay, in the last game versus Liquid Cloud Nine, he beat them. I don't know, sixteen five. Very Nothing close, but... at a three point three three point three three KD, twenty kills, six deaths, and he was at the top frag of everybody, and he had the top rating of that game.
I would rather be see this is where the versus Adren um, thing comes in because I would be I would rather be inconsistently good than be consistently bad. Like, but he's, he's consistently bad. So you can't. No, he's not. Did you just hear what he just said? Yesterday, he, he dropped an 25 kills for in a three one point game KD. that they played versus a liquid where Simple hadn't slept for 48 hours or something like that. Liquid's if you not look even at a ESWC, he did world. it again. He's inconsistently good, TJ. It's not just this time. Inconsistently he's done it good he's is consistently bad. Good. If you're inconsistently no, good, then by definition, the rest of the time you're bad. That's how that works. Oh. Um, you, no, you know what I'm if saying. If 30% of Adren the time you're insane, have... then no, the rest of the time Adren, you're not you're, insane. Okay. I'm saying Adren is 100% consistently bad, but nothing yeah. is not 100% consistently bad. He is yeah. inconsistently yeah. for a, ma a minority of the time. For a minority of the time, he is good, yeah. and he is you a he is a good to... player. Adren never what? does that. Adren 100% of the time man? never does that. What do, you, what do you want me to tell you land stats? Because uh, I think that's going to be a little bit different. No, I know. his. He's not the best. He's had, like, one good land in the past, like, long time. So he's how could, an okay. inconsistent player. Okay. He's not consistent. Okay, all right. We're moving on. We're, we're moving on. You're not right. We're moving on. Uh, biggest oh losers my. this week. Envy have absolutely lost everything. Uh, they brought in Devil Energy. last week. It didn't happen. In any way, shape, or form, it didn't work. Um, this week, they've just kept not being able to accomplish anything. They got upset by energy, something we'll touch on in a second. Winner Fox have done nothing good ever again. Hello, Brandon. And Verdict Pro is still doing terribly. Uh, interestingly, on our biggest losers list, we currently have two EU teams who last year I would have told you were top 10. Mm, who? Oh. <laughs> well, oh. Gotcha. <laughs> God. God I don't know what's up with BP, dude. <laughs> BP is weird. Yeah, they... They... I don't know what to tell you, dude. They're good players. They're so good. It just doesn't make any sense. It's kind of like NIP, dude. For a while, and IP is just like just nothing's nothing's working. Like VP is just like I the think, same way. Like I think just, NIP they have their patches. Really good parity for that because they're in a similar situation where it seems like they're trying to do the things that used to work, and it's just not working. They're just not working. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like when you look like their old days and IP, like we talked about, they're all so good. Like, they're so good. They're unimaginably good players. But it's they're just trying to do things that they're hoping are eventually going to work, and they're just not working. So NIP is changing that, which is lovely. We want to see that. Well, We're excited about that. For but, them, it was bringing Well, they're in claiming you have. What? For them, it was bringing in the greatest in-game leader of all time, arguably. Unless you're saying it's nothing, yeah. in which case... Oh my God. No, I never said that. Not the, he's not even. A, he's not even an actual idea. <laughs> so you admit he doesn't have any redeeming qualities? No. He's anyway. just not the best idea. He's anyway. adapting greatly, dude. Anyway. Look, you have it on here. Anyway, you have it up Winter here. Fox C9 upsets Liquid. C9 nothing. beats Luminosity, dude. They beat Winter them. Fox. Have still accomplished nothing. Uh, <laughs> oh, they're so. They're just so down there, dude. I don't, oh I, man, I feel for them. They're a pretty highly paid team too, and they don't have like like what is it, Echo Fox? You can excuse that. Welcome to America. They, you can excuse Echo Fox because Echo Fox are built to be a stream team, right? But I yeah. just don't understand what the redeeming quality of um, Winter Fox is. Dude, did you see the uh, did you see the video of Sean Garris getting mad at his teammates? On Echo Fox. Um, he got uh, so upset at them. And it's funny because you've never seen Sean Gares raise his voice. And he just... Freeze time. It, yep, Did yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Did fucking buy one, you... What? I called the for fucking freeze time. Yeah, I saw oh. that video. <laughs> That's so awesome. Um, I think yeah, the, but I, think I don't know. Winter Fox is just... 
I don't know how you Did... deal with this motherfucker on your squad. I think that also came in after that. <laughs> did 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 you see uh what's it called? His his P two fifty whiteout? It's called get a, get a tan. It has a simple sticker and it has a freakazoid sticker. <laughs> That's smart. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, hang yeah, on. I was waiting for TJ. Hang on. Hang and on. Drink a protein shake. You look kind of skinny, but Hang on. Drink a uh, protein shake. Like that he said that, it's kind of amazing. I love that guy, dude. I love Freakazoid so much. How can you after after that? I think I have get a tan. Dude, everyone blew that up way too far. I mean, Tim, Simple talks so much shit. He just looks innocent because he doesn't know English. Like he doesn't even know. I mean, Simple didn't even know who was in the call with him. He thought it, he thought it was Stewie. I mean, my my only issue with the whole thing is that it wouldn't have been a big deal except for the fact that Freak is constantly going, I, I'm anti-bullying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, right? And because of that, it just kind of blew up. I do think that Freak deep down, it seems to be a nice guy. Yeah, it was just one little incident. I don't know, it, apparently, like, Silent was in their call all day, and he said that Simple was being a di- It doesn't make it okay. But simple was just being a mean person the whole day. Now I know. But I, I don't know. <laughs> just still, it doesn't make it Andy okay calls. in any sense. But it's still It'll just I don't know. Life, man. Sorry. It's a whole weird conversation. He's like talking online and get scared in person, huh? <laughs> Did you, you ever have real life friends? Yeah, if you bully, it's just a sign of weakness from the per- people because they're insecure about themselves. <laughs> All right. Oh man, when he put him side by side, he looks so bad. Oh, it's yeah. so bad. Um, the other good one from a from a person who's who's <sighs> teammates with Stewie Two K. I love jumping through smokes, bro. What can I say? You rush for kills and still die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Hashrunner, I'm an admin. Go ahead and throw it in. Uh, moving swiftly onwards to the rise of North America, energy upset NV, Cloud9 upset Liquid, which to me shows that we do have top, two top, three top NA teams, if you're including, um, CLG. Let's make that four, if we're including energy. Look at that. I just said that North America had four top teams. When is that ever Leggy is true? on our energy, right? Leggy is not on energy. He's... Wasn't he on it before? Um, I could have sworn he was on energy. No, he stood in at this major because PTR managed to break his foot on a plane somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Peter broke his foot, yeah. But I thought he was on it before that. When did Peter break his foot? Wasn't that recent? Uh, on the plane to character pack. Uh, like, yeah, it's oh. not officially on their roster. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I really like Legia, though. I was just going to say that. And I've been a long-time silent fan, too. I liked them yeah, and God Justin be, God be when they were on something. Method. That was the coolest thing. Gobby was saying something to the effects of, I really like working with these NA guys because they just listen to me. Which is kind of exactly the opposite of everything every North American endgame leader has ever been saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. And I also feel like maybe the fact that he's saying that invalidates everything that the North American in-game leaders have been saying and maybe just proves that they weren't that good in-game leaders. I think that... I think it has to do with the players, too. They listen to him because he's good. Yeah, he's just such a... They know how... They they have... I think they just have more respect for him. But then when... Because he's he's like a... he One, he's an EU player. So that just automatically... They respect him more. Then, Then you look at how good of an IGL he is. You know, that helps it out. But then when you look at, like, like if you're on a nothing. team with Days and he's just an IGL from North America, you're like, this guy doesn't know any more than I do. I'm going to play how I always do, you know? It might have something to do with that. I don't know. But it's an interesting it's an interesting point. Yeah, and if, like, Cloud9, they play it with uh, nothing as a calling, sometimes, like, they might not listen to him because they're like, oh, yeah, he jokes around. Yeah, he doesn't know smokes. You know, he doesn't know any more than I do. If thing. you're in any sports team and you don't listen to the guy who's the appointed in-game leader, you shouldn't be on the team. I just think it's ridiculous that that's even a conversation we're having. 
Yeah, I mean, in some situations, like, I could understand, like, it, it would be really annoying as an IGL because Days has talk of, talked about it when he was in an interview once that, like, when he was on a team uh, with Swag, he, like, he just wouldn't listen sometimes. Like, when he said, I'm rotating back to B, stay would, at would, Porch. Would say or wrong. rotating back to A, stay at Porch. He would just go Arch every time. Yeah, he would just not listen every time until like a year later he started listening. But it's you kind of have to deal with it sometimes because when like Swag's such God, a good player, fucking that it's what can so you insane. do? Like sometimes if they just do whatever they want, they get more kills. So it's I don't know, it's weird. It shouldn't be a thing. I agree. It would be so annoying to have to I deal with that as I, an IGL. I think it's, but you know, whatever. The, the reason that culture has been allowed to develop is because for a long time we didn't have enough pro players, right? But I think now we have enough pro players that if nothing isn't listening to Sean Garris, Sean Garris can say, right, nothing, you're off the team. Because someone doing that is actually demon demonstrably hurting the team. So there's just no Yeah, it depends on the context, though, because if you're trying to, like, if you're trying to put an input to the IGL, which I think should be a perfectly okay thing that should be on every team, you shouldn't just have one guy that's rock solid everything i say is my way or the highway type thing that's not okay because if you have a good idea well, that no, you are certain is going to work with those with, if you've noticed should, something that he didn't then yeah your good idea should accept that input you should yeah yeah exactly go, so it depends on the context go, so if like you're, you're just like lower disobeying beam, so i'm gonna push there right yeah. you should go yeah, that's i hear a talking. guy lower b and the igl can go if he pushes that will that hurt our strategy no, okay, push that. And it achieves the same result, but the difference in how the team moves is noticeable. The communication is better, and it just makes everything more professional, honestly. It's it's like you can't just... Exp you can't be a professional player, not tell people what you're doing, and just do whatever you want. Like you, That's not how professional things work. Like No one does that outside of esports ever. Like right. if you're playing, if you're a professional basketball player, you're not just, you know, it's, you have to listen to your coach. Like you don't just, you're yeah, not just you know, like, you know, there's one second left. I have to shoot the ball. You're just not going to shoot the ball. That's not how that works. Like you no know one does happens, that. And we should start doing that too. You know what happens in pro basketball if you don't listen to the coach? Yeah, you're done. You're not on the team anymore. And that's, that's just that. That's how it should be. That's why yeah. Allen Iverson, one of the greatest players mm -hmm. to ever touch a basketball, was like on a team for a couple years and he was done because just the way he did things was so unprofessional that they eventually just said, we've had enough. You can be as good as you want, but if you're not playing as a professional player, it's just not going to work. It's not going to work, which is a good thing in my mind. Right. So but yeah, that's a good topic. We've had a good discussion. We've done all our things. I think it's a good note to end it on. Apart from this last slide right here. Um which says <laughs> Right. Uh later today, I don't know if they'll be casted, but Disco Elephants will be going up against Silver Tarns at approximately five thirty. Um, and Cosmos will be going up against Mori at approximately 7.30. Um, if they are casted, they will be live on this Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Reddit Ladder League. This video will be up on our YouTube channel, which I can spam in chat by going exclamation point YouTube. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Do subscribe to this stream, follow the stream, if you enjoy it. Bye. Is that it? Is it over? I it's think never over. Something. It's Hello? never over. Also, everything crashed, but it's never over. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. And That's then awkward. I can, and then I can do... There we go. Now we're good. I thought I can hear that. Good. Also, I can't do anything about that, but I'm glad you can hear that. And then I can go... Bum, 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 ba
Oh, it changed up on me. What, what, what happened? It's doing something different now. Okay. Make some noise and put your hands in the air. For God. Bro, 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 bro! So many options. Alright, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys all next week. <laughs>